Namaste and Hotel Royal Family. Welcome to Three Eyes Open Radio. I am your host, the Eternally Risen, and I have with me tonight Dread Triple Six. Dread Triple Six. Yo, that's a vibe. Like, it's different. It's a vibe. You feel me? So, where did you get your name from? So, uh, Dread, as you know, is the word for fear. It's another word right, for fear. Right. Uh, fear Triple Six, you could, you could call it that. Um, it's about really relating to the music. I want my music to represent the most dreadful aspects of reality. Okay, okay. Right? That, that's the real thing. You feel so, me? You know, uh, 666, if you don't mind me asking. Um, that's, that's carbon. Like, I know exactly what it is. It's, the, it's a lot of different symbolisms. You know, you six is a number of man. Right, right. And I'm right. a man, I'm a carnal being, I'm a human right. being, right? Okay. So, okay. you know, and I, I, uh, I believe people are free to express their desires without shame, without guilt. Right, right, right. Um, you know, so the, the world pleasures, right? When you, when you talk to anybody yeah. who's religious, they'll tell you, you know, stay away from the world with ple- uh, pleasures. Yeah. Uh, anything, anything along those lines. Right. Carnality. They're gonna, they're gonna say, you know, don't do that. I say do that because that's generally what makes people happy. You know. Okay. Okay. If you're so hungry, you're a non-conformist, like a rebel. Something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, if okay. you're hungry, eat. That's real. <laughs> if you're tired, sleep. <laughs> Okay. You know? So you say give in to your flesh. Is that what you're? you're Absolutely. One hundred percent. And what? you know, as long as you're not hurt, hurting anybody, uh, you're, right? You're right, now. Nah. You're free to you're do right. what you what you please, and that's what uh, that's good for character development. Uh, authority is not the truth. Truth is the authority, right? Wow. I didn't look at it like that. Yeah. Right? So that's... so so disobedience and and uh, doubt and challenging things. That's probably some of the most important things that built up my name. Okay. Dread Triple Six counterculture you know going against the grain okay uh, uh, and touching on that the grain being the music industry mm-hmm. the way the music industry is set up everything's very capitalist everybody's always trying to get money from you somehow people who produce beats people who do sound engineering everybody wants to get something from you but they don't realize your work you're right. putting your your time and your effort into your creative endeavors mm-hmm. and then somebody wants to come along and say well you should pay me for this because this that, the it's like I'm an equal. Right, right, right. I'm creating just like you are. My time right, is equally right, right. as valuable. If I give you five dollars and you give me five dollars, we didn't make no money. So that goes into the work ethic, how we make our music. Right, right. Every producer on my team, it's it's all voluntary labor. Okay. So, so how long have you been in the music industry? Is this four, four years. Four years in the making, and then just recently we've started to actually pick it up and make more music, bring, bring quality up, and do more shows, get out there. But four years is when it started. Okay, awesome. And what is your unique description of the type of music that you create? I would just call it alternative rap. Alternative rap. I make a lot of different things. I do, I incorporate some screaming elements. I do some rapping, like just the Detroit style, like mm-hmm. Eminem sounding style vocal, you know, like the newer age, like lower pedals, like just this talking tone. I do a lot of different styles. Sometimes I sing, sometimes I go over electronic beats like EDM and I make these like funny joke tracks that just you know girl I'm gonna take you out tonight I, you know just be, I, yo and I'm gonna put like a clip of it of his performance so you find your way through this world of hate because some days I just can't I'm the type to bully you bully to make you do bully respect the message that I'm representing rejected the press is to bar we get death headline every paper from the six seven and every one in the front of the game Yeah, he's definitely alternative. Um, I I can describe him as like a 
I'm the creator. He's all around. He's diverse. And um, I like it. I like it Thank a lot. You. Yes, you're welcome. It's, it's, it's dope. I really yeah. appreciate you appreciating me. Oh, no problem. So, you are from? Cuba. Cuba. From Cuba. And your music represents that? Does it scream Cuba sometimes? or? Yes. It does? Yes. Okay. 100%. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Sir. Specifically the Cuban Revolution. Okay. Could you enlighten me on the Cuban Revolution? Because I'm not really privy on what okay. it is. So, Try to, try to do this as real fast quick, as I can. Yeah, real, real quick. quick. All right, so <laughs> before 1959, okay. the United States basically owned Cuba by way of you know having their corporations operating off the island. You know, uh, mobsters did a lot of their dirty work there in Cuba. They they own you know, uh, prostitution centers or mm -hmm. whatever you know, and and you could basically describe Cuba as America's whorehouse before the revolution. Wow, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Fulgencio Batista, which was the dictator prior to uh, the revolution in 1959 with Fidel Castro, mm -hmm. he was allowing that to slide. They put him in because they knew that he would just let them do what they wanted to do. So Fidel Castro came and said, that's enough. Nationalized the industries, um, gave back you know, power to the people. Very, very complicated stuff. I suggest people read into it. Um, why the Cuban Revolution happened in 1959. Get into the nuances of it. Uh, but definitely in my music, I try to I try to use sound bites of Fidel Castro speeches, Che Guevara speeches. I noticed that you do use a lot of quotes and stuff in there. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, I didn't. And, and that definitely represents Cuba. Okay. Their, their independence, sovereignty, is super important. Okay. Okay. Respect. Yo, you know, Ebor City. I'm familiar with you know mm -hmm. the culture. Um, is enriched here in Tampa. The Cuban culture is enriched here. So. Yeah, I'm like I'm familiar, but not too familiar. I know who Castro is. Yeah. Right here. You know, <laughs> we know who he is. Yeah. Yes, I know who he yeah. is. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know, you know, the stuff he did. Uh, my granddad was a, was a really poor, dirt mm -hmm. poor farmer. Mm -hmm. um, so did he benefit the poverty? Like yeah, he he, he alleviated people. Yeah. 100 percent i can say that within the first three years uh, wow. uh that was that was one of the biggest things and then literacy rates went up uh, you know before it used to be there weren't any clinics in the rural areas you know and then you know fidel came and put a clinic there where we don't have a full-time doctor and now you got you know a dentist that comes once a week and right, all of a sudden right. all these people who never even learned to read or write they're becoming astronauts engineers statisticians you know the first the first black man to go to space mm -hmm. Arnaldo Tamayo Mendez, he was Cuban, and that was a part of the Soviet wow. cosmonaut program. You know, it's a lot of stuff they don't teach you here yeah. in America, yeah. uh, wow. because they don't they don't benefit from teaching that. Right, right, right. It's not, it's not the, the, politics here in America. That's all it's really about. Politics, mm -hmm. you know, power struggle. Over I don't this. hate Castro. I don't hate Cuba. I love Cuba. Yeah. Real Cuba. Okay, y'all heard it first. You're pretty much a um, non-conformist. You, you know, you go against the grain. So, what are you trying to tell the world? Like, you know, what what are you doing? I I would. My biggest encouragement is to, to think freely. You know, be open-minded, but don't be so open-minded to where your brain falls out. Right, right, right. That's right. my biggest encouragement. To you. <laughs> you gotta stand for something, or you'll fall for, for anything. anything. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's real, y'all. But anyways, thank you again. Thank you. State your name one more time. I'm Dread Triple Six. And where can we follow you? You can find me on any streaming platform at Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. The majority of my work is on SoundCloud just because uh, that's where I started. And I, I didn't really want to go on Spotify because I thought that was a big corporate right. thing. You know? I mean, uh, you get real royalties from it, but of course they want a piece. You got to pay taxes to everybody. Uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. But, but yeah, you can find me anyway. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. his music has been playing. If y'all ain't heard it, because it's going to play. You okay. feel me behind it. Uh, real light, but... um. You know, much love and light to y'all. Again, this is Three Eyes Open Radio, Artist Support, Artist Edition. And yeah, y'all have a nice night. Thank you again. Thank you so much. One love.